If you are writing GATE Computer Science 2025 exam, then this video is for you. Because lot of students have doubt, Sir, you have taught engineering mathematics course, which is common to all branch. So how will I know which chapters I have to study, which chapters I have to leave, moreover, which topics I should leave as per my official syllabus. Do not worry, everything would be covered in the today's video. Just watch till the end. First of all, on Shrenik Jain Study Simplified app, you will get two courses. One course is in Hindi, other is in English. What is the difference? Only the speaking style. In English, everything I will teach in English. But in Hindi, I will talk in Hindi, mein karunga, but the slides will remain in English. Mein rahegi, jaise abhi main aapse baat kar Otherwise, the content remains the same. And in this courses, I have taught in total eight chapters which are those linear algebra, calculus, probability, differential equation, vector calculus, complex variable, numerical method and transform theory. You do not have to study everything. Why? Because as per the IIT Roorkee GATE 2025 computer science syllabus, you do not have all the chapters. First of all, this discrete mathematics, this is not a chapter. This is a subject in itself so that you won't get in this engineering mathematics course of mine. Okay, because discrete maths is a subject. Now comes about the engineering mathematics chapters. Those are linear algebra, calculus and probability. So these three chapters are present in my course and linear algebra. You have to study everything because everything is there. Matrices, determinant, solution of system, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, LU decomposition. It is covered in miscellaneous concept lecture of my course. Okay, so everything is covered. So you have to watch that second. Calculus. In calculus, you have limits, continuity, differentiability, right? And then we have mean value theorem, then maxima minima and integration. Again, the full folder you have to study. If you click on calculus, each topic you can see that it is covered. Taylor series also you have to study because it will help you to solve the limits question because it's a trick. Taylor series is nothing but a trick. So everything you have to study because uh, integration means single, double, triple. Now you may ask, uh, but sir, it is not written that uh, double, triple integration is there. Only integration is written. I will give you two answer for that. First answer is in uh, random variables, there are questions of single and double integration. So you should know about that. And talking about your previous year paper of CS, uh, we have seen the questions from double and triple integration. So indirectly you have to study. I hope this part is clear. So linear algebra, calculus, everything is clear. Coming to the third chapter, probability and statistics, random variable, uniform, normal, exponential. This is nothing but probability distribution random variables, statistics and basics of probability. So if you go to my course, you will see that in a probability folder, you do not have to study everything. Why? In probability folder, basics of probability, yes, you have to study. Random variable, yes. Probability distribution, yes. Statistics, yes. Then comes correlation, regression and a sampling distribution and hypothesis testing. Correlation regression question was seen in your previous year paper 2021 and there also in official syllabus it was not mentioned but still they asked. So it's up to you now because in 2025 official syllabus it is not mentioned. So 99% it should not come. But since uh, they play with your mind, they they ask question as per their convenience sometimes. So it 1% unlucky chance can happen out of syllabus thing can come. Okay. So just giving you the alert because I have solved all the PYQ. So I know what they are doing in the previous year papers. Nevertheless, you also do not have one more topic that is hypothesis. So you do not have to study this 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 as per the official syllabus. But 11, 12, 13, I will recommend you study because in data science and algorithm, this all these things are there and uh, the data science and artificial intelligence branch everything you have to study so indirectly if you are studying it's good otherwise if you are writing only cs then this is your official syllabus also there is a star mark questions are asked from a span and rank of a matrix so span and rank of the matrix you will get in which folder span and rank of the uh, matrix questions you will get in vector calculus lectures and then this is the vector span topic. So you can study this vector span and gate questions from here. I hope this part is pretty much clear and everything I have covered. Let me give you a conclusion of your syllabus. Discrete maths is a subject which should not be added in engineering mathematics. And if you want uh, me to teach this discrete mathematics subject, do let me know in the comment section. I will try my best that in this year I try to cover this then. Okay. 
and apart from that uh, i have told you linear algebra everything you have to study calculus everything probability it's a star mark uh, which lectures you should leave correlation regression and hypothesis as per the official syllabus but sometimes if they ask questions like in the previous year then i can't help apart from that i also told you in vector calculus vector span you have to study because in previous year papers questions were seen and that's it i hope you have understood now everything thank you for watching this video